What's going on everybody? I want to give a special shout out to The Secret Suites at Vidara for sponsoring this video. The Secret Suites are privately owned suites inside of the Vidara Hotel. Guests of The Secret Suites will receive the same amenities as Vidara guests, such as the free Wi-Fi, pool and spa access, along with a few exclusive amenities, such as free valet parking instead of having to pay the $30 a day that Vidara will charge. You'll also get special pricing because these suites are privately owned. And the best amenity of all, there are no resort fees. We all know everybody hates Vegas resort fees. The $51 a day resort fee that Vidara will charge. Booking with these suites, you will not have to pay that resort fee. So make sure you check out VidaraSecretSuites.com so you can book your secret experience today. And without further ado, let's check out a tour of this two bedroom penthouse suite. What's going on everybody? Today we are at the Secret Suites at Vidara. Gonna do a room tour of the two bedroom penthouse suite in suite number 45001. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so uh, this two bedroom penthouse suite is pretty spacious. So what we're gonna do for this tour is we're gonna start down here at the bedroom area where the bedrooms are located and we'll work our way back to the living room area. So uh, behind this door, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna assume uh, this is supposed to be for convenience, but this is just simply uh, a room with a roll away bed. So um, if you need an extra bed, um, it is here for your convenience. Sorry about the shake. This is bedroom number one. I'm gonna assume that this is the master bedroom and I just walk right by the switch. Um, but here is the uh, switches for the blackout and the shades. So as you see, the switch will raise your blackouts and shades so you can get a view or one of the many views in this suite from this bedroom. Uh, but here you have a flat screen TV. Uh, and this looks like this is just some decor. Down below, you have some storage space. These are just more storage drawers. And then behind this door, if I can get it open, there we go. Uh, you have a connectivity panel for this TV. Uh, so if you need to connect any kind of media, um, you can hook it up to a connectivity panel to play through the TV. Uh, so this is the view from bedroom number one. So this one will be an off strip view, but as you can see, that's T-Mobile Arena, the new Raiders Stadium that is almost done. Uh, get a nice view of that. And then here you have your bed in bedroom number one. So this is your king size bed. You've got overhead reading lamps. Uh, over here on this side, uh, you have multiple charging outlets. So on this side here, you have USB charging, and then you've got the standard char charging ports there. And then over here on this side, uh, you've got a Bluetooth clock radio here. So it's a clock radio. You can also connect Bluetooth to it if you need to do so. Um, but you also have a connectivity panel, so you probably won't connect Bluetooth to that. Uh, and this is your closet, so you do get a robe here. You also get some slippers. There's your iron, and you have an in-room safe. If you need to lock up some valuables, you have that option in this room. Uh, so we'll go check out the bathroom. Uh, this is a master or a private bathroom uh, for this suite. So over here is the lights. So it's a dimmer, I have this at the bottom. So if you wanna get like a spa-like feel, you can just dim it down and have a nice little ambionic setting in here. But most people probably want some light. So uh, if you don't want to take a bath and have that spa feel, this is your bathroom. Uh, it's a nice bathroom. So on the left side is your tub. You've got a nice size soaking tub over there. And then directly across you have his and her sinks with a nice backlit mirror above. And then here is your vanity mirror for those of you who may need that. And you have a TV, this is a swivel TV, so you could you know, slide it around a little, get a nice view while you're sitting in the tub. But you do have a TV. And then here is your standing shower. So you got a nice size standing shower. Got a bench in there as well. And then this is the toilet. So this is bedroom number one. I'm gonna call this the master bedroom since it's all the way in the back. Then we'll head in this way if we can get back and focus, thank you. Over to bedroom number two. Uh, so here is the second bedroom, same thing. As soon as you come in, uh, you've got your switch here, which go ahead and open your shades, blackouts there. 
Uh, this door is locked, not too sure what's behind. Might be some electrical stuff. Uh, and then we'll come in here this way first. Same thing, this is the uh, bathroom for this one. Same thing as well. You got a switch on this side, except the tub is over here instead of the left side. But across from it, as you see, you've got his and hers sinks. Another backlit mirror, it's pretty nice. Um, I guess I can raise the light up so we can get some more light in here, but yeah. Uh, same thing as well, you've got another vanity mirror, TV across, and then there's the standing shower and the toilet. Uh, so that's the bathroom for this one. Coming out the bathroom, you have a walk-in closet. So this one has a luggage rack. You've got a robe here and then an in-room safe as well to lock up your valuables in this room, as well as an iron and an iron and ironing board behind the robe right there. So both bath, both bedrooms have their own bathroom, so that's very convenient. Um, this is your king size bed in here. Uh, you've got tempered glass in this one, so here uh, you can vaguely see in there, but it's a private bedroom. People won't be bothering you, I would assume. Uh, there's your Bluetooth clock ready on that side. And then you have a TV across from the bed. Uh, this bedroom does seem a little more spacious than the other one, so I don't know, maybe this could be considered the master. I'll leave that up to y'all to guess, but uh, you have another connectivity panel. Same thing here as well. This is extra storage across. And then you'll get a similar view in this bedroom as well. So strip side or city side with the stadiums. And then uh, you do have a tablet here, so you can get room service. See if I can get in a little bit of like the Vidara guests do. So if you wanted to do like in-room dining and all of that, uh, you can use the tablet to order room service or anything around the hotel. So you get the same amenities as if you were a Vidara guest. Just get the secret experience that the regular Vidara guests don't. Alrighty, so going into the living room, dining room area, uh, you make your way through here. And before you get there, behind this door you have a Voila, washer and dryer. Uh, so for those of you who may be here for extended time, want to wash a couple of pieces of clothing, you have that option and you can just call housekeeping they'll bring you everything you need. Um, here you have a half bathroom. So there is your toilet. And then there's your sink and your mirror. And here we are in the living room, dining room area. I'm gonna go ahead and open all of the Open them halfway because I needed some light. It was kind of dark when I came in here. But that is the switch to open all of your blinds. So here is your very nice view. Uh, so over here you can see that is the Bellagio. There's your strip on that side. And then here's Cosmo and Planet Hollywood. So you get a view of the middle of the strip. Over there you can see New York. New York's so going to that end and then I'll carry the views will carry over that way. Get there in a second. Uh, this is a desk area, so if anyone needs to handle some business while they're away, while they're in this suite, uh, you have a little desk area to do that. Here is the living room's flat screen TV with a sound bar, which is pretty cool. So you'll get very nice bass and stadium sounding from that sound bar. Here's another connectivity panel, again, if you need to connect your media you can do that and here are some instructions on how to connect the media stuff for those who may have questions it's another subwoofer down there here as you see you've got a wine cellar so if you want to keep your drinks cool if you got some wine for all my wine drinkers get a wine cellar here it's pretty nice and then over here you get your bartender stuff so you've got a mixer ice bucket uh, looks like you've got a bottle opener and wine cork so across from that, as you see here, is your living room. So you've got a couple of chairs. Well, about four total. And then here's your couch. Do we have a pull-out bed under the couch? Yes, you do. So I guess in total you have four beds, two in the king side, or two king size beds, and then you have a pull-out bed here. So you got plenty of space. Um, this will be your dining room area. So you got a nice dining room table that can sit six people. Nice little chandelier above. And the kitchen area. Probably be a selling point to a lot of people. So here is your bar area, or you got a bar stand area. Um, this is a full kitchen. So here on this side, you have your sink, 
And then over here, you got some drawers. I think there's a couple mitts. Yeah, you got some gloves down here if you need to pull things out of the oven. Here is a trash can. And down there is just for your garbage disposal. This side, you've got a dishwasher so you can wash your dishes. Here you have a microwave and an oven, so that's pretty dope. And then over here, you've got your utensils, so there's your fork, spoons, and all of that. Down here below, you've got a cutting board for precision chopping. And then you've got some paper plates, that's pretty nice. Um, here is the stove, so you can cook anything you need to. Up here, you have all of the cups that you'll need. So literally like being home away from home, Sweet provides literally everything you need. Um, you don't even have to call housekeeping, I don't believe yet, because in here you have a blender and down here are your pots and pans. So literally everything you need to cook up in the kitchen, you got it. Over here, we got your spatulas and all of that good stuff. This one's empty and just more trays and stuff. Then up here you have, you actually have glass plates, so if you want to use glass plates to hold heavy dishes, that'll probably be the preference for most. And then on this side, you've got continued cups. So yeah, like I said, everything you need to feel at home, away from home, you've got it in here. It's a heavy Sub-Zero refrigerator, but it's very, very spacious, so you'll be able to store everything you need in there. And then down here is just your deep freezer. Plenty of space to keep things cool, so any and everything you can need for the perfect getaway, you will definitely get it in this suite. And that's going to do it for this video. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.